You have to be the homecoming queen, because only the prettiest girl gets to be homecoming queen, not just anybody. And you ride a parade, and people shy your attention. So that message just spoke to me that if you're the prettiest, people will praise you. Because homecoming queen is good for She's riding on the car. There's a parade. They're throwing confetti over her. So what I got from that is if you're, if you're, if you're the most beautiful girl, people will love you and praise you. The next commercial I came across was, this is Barbie Cosmetics. Now this commercial was one of the oddest <coughs> ones to me because Barbie, girls that are old enough to be wearing makeup, they've, they've stopped playing with Barbie by that time. So I was wondering even what is the point of this one. Uh, I don't think there's sound. Yeah, there's not sound on this one. But just, you can still get, get most of the messages from Barbie, just by looking at it. It's basically a Barbie makeup kit for little girls. I'm thinking, why? I mean, I don't know any, any parents who let little girls this age wear makeup. I don't think, I'm not, you can ask some of the girls around, I, I seriously doubt any of your parents let you wear makeup when you're this age. But even then, sending that message, you know, here's buy stuff to make you prettier. Because that's what's really important. Next is the Barbie Dream Kitchen Playset. Sorry that the last few of them didn't have sound. But with this one, I mean, it's obvious, you know, good girls in the kitchen cooking in her nice little apron looking pretty. Notice Ken's not in the kitchen helping. <laughs> you got an entire kitchen set cooking. So, okay, so that is obvious, you know. Girls are supposed to cook. Now, the last commercial was the one that kind of cracked my class up, and it did me too, but it kind of disappointed me. Because one of the parts of this assignment was to try to find something that went against the norms. And when I first started watching the commercial, I thought, okay, this one's it. This is astronaut Barbie. Okay, okay, okay. They're, that's not saying girls are supposed to be have a certain type of job. Okay, that's, I, I'm thinking, okay, this one's going to send a better message. That girl can do anything that I can do. That girl can go and explore space. And it, I, I ignored the fact that Barbie's space outfit was pink. But I think, okay, this one's going to be it. This one's going to be the good Barbie commercial. Sending a good, positive message for girls. And I thought that until I got to the end. I think my sound went. Hang on a second. So I know this last one's supposed to have turns into a skirt, her helmet turns into a disco ball, and she goes dancing. <laughs> now, the tag at the end, it, the uh, slogan for this, at the end it said, girls can do anything. And if, if the sound would work, you could hear it, but I just didn't distinctly remember that part. And so I'm thinking, okay, at first I thought it's going to go against the norm, and it is kind of, but it's still saying, okay, yes, you, you can do anything a guy can do, and you can go explore space, but it's still important to look pretty. Don't forget that. Being pretty is still important. So afterwards, you put on something nice and go dance. <laughs> and in the end, what, uh, the last part of the assignment we had to do was it, the quote, we were asked, uh, do we think that, um, that they should be changed? And I had to say no on this one. Because of the fact that I kept in mind that this is advertising. And advertising, at the end of the day, every commercial is buy our product. So I thought, so I'm thinking, okay, if they went the other route with this, would people still buy the product? I mean, do you think a lot of little girls would ask their mom to buy them a construction worker Barbie? 
I really doubt that. And they sold like a, a, something for boys that was like a boy cooking and taking care of a baby, that sort of toy. Would little boys be asking their parents in the store, you know, please, mommy, daddy, please buy me that? No. I mean, even though it'd be nice, but I gotta remember that it's commercial. So commercials don't send the message, they just uh, adapt to the messages. So for the commercial to change, society would have to change first, and then uh, companies and the uh, toy companies would have to alter their advertising to fit accordingly. So but the main point I came in this that the, the fix things like this, we'd have to remove the labels of masculine and feminine. You know, like my, you know, we see my buddy, yeah, we need people to be carpenters and firemen, and we need people to cook and take care of babies, but we just need to just stop dictating who should do which. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. And thank you for the commercials, which were uh, nice, nice vintage, nice in the past. Okay. Give me a nice nostalgia. Yeah, we didn't get that far, and so when the skipper came out, I groaned. We were only allowed to have skippers. <laughs>